Okay, so I really want to see what it's like inside these hybrid cells, these Toyota Panasonic nickel metal hydrate batteries. There's only one video that I found on YouTube that shows these cut in two that have been opened up to see what they look like inside. And that's from Jose with Hybrid Solution Diagnostics. Great channel, by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off of this. We're going to dissect this a little bit, and I want to see if there's any way we can add any kind of electrolyte to these cells. When they, when they go bad, this cell was just straight up terrible. It was the worst one in the, it was the worst one in the block. So what I'm going to do is cut it open and see if there's any pass through between each one of these individual cells within the cell and it looks like there's a hole in between each one of these dividers to where liquid electrolyte would flow in between them. If you could somehow add more electrolyte through here or drill a tiny hole in the top of each one of these cells and fill it with a syringe with electrolyte and bring the electrolyte value back up. Um, that's, that's the idea, that's the concept. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hack into the cell over here. We're gonna see what it looks like inside. Do not try this at home, unless you're crazy like me, but I wouldn't advise it. I'm gonna cut the top of this off just slightly below this seal mold. So with the top of this thing cut off, you can see that sealed port there. You can see down inside each one of these cells within the block. So they do not have a hole that goes all the way through. It's like a pressed rivet looking mark that joins each one of these cells together. And you can see the plates in there and the solution, the electrolyte material. But yeah, that's what these things look like inside. So, and let's just take a look as to the electrolyte material that's inside here. You can see there is like a battery acid in there that goes dry. And if you could rehydrate these things, you could probably bring them back to life quite a bit, similar to the way you can put distilled water in a lead acid battery. So we're going to give that a try in another video, see how it does. Let's go inside a little deeper. Take the hole off, and inside you can see the you can see the thin wafer material here, similar to the way a lead acid battery does when it puffs up and it loses the battery acid electrolyte material that it's submerged in. 